Hi everybody, it's James of Crypto Conscious, and today we're going to look at Juno. I'm going to explain why I think it's hotter than a microwaved apple pie. So let's get bloody into it. So today I'm going to look at six variables about Juno, okay? The first is they are smart contract based. The second is they are sovereign and they are community driven. The third, they're interoperable using the lovely IBC protocol. Fourth is that they are a dedicated sister hub helping the cosmos. Fifth, the staking rewards are bloody exceptional. And six, maybe most importantly, their current and future projects are looking great. I'm going to explain all of these one by one. Let's get started with smart contracts. Smart contracts evolve. This is what it says on the bloody tin. So what are they? If we look here, this is what they call a traditional contract. And this is what happens with a traditional contract. Party A has a house. Party B has money. Party B wants to buy the house from party A. They have a contract and it needs to be ratified by a third party like a lawyer who you pay around $5,000 to to get that contract executed. Can be a bit of a pain in the ass. A very expensive annoyance having that third party. Smart contracts remove that middleman. It is just executable code where both parties make an agreement. Once agreed, the smart contract processes, bang, it executes. Cheap and fast. It's in its infancy still. However, it's happening a lot online with purchases of assets, lending of assets, and borrowing of assets. It just beautifully reduces the need for time lags and inefficiency. So this is what Juno is based on smart contracts. They're going to be using everything from insurance premium calculations to medical bills to buying houses. Welcome to being an early adopter to the future. Now we know what smart contracts are, let's go to point two. Juno is sovereign and community driven, otherwise known as decentralized. To understand how the community works, we need to have a quick look at the tokenomics. How were the tokens distributed? It was basically a stake drop. Look at this. 47.24% went to people that were holding Atom on a one-to-one -one basis. So if you held Atom back in the day, you have certainly made some money back on this little badger. That is a massive amount to give to people. Why did they do that, you might ask? Well, they want to engage the community. If you invested in Atom that early, it means that you have some interest in the platform. Why not reward the early investors and allow them to contribute to the growth of the community? It's a very intelligent idea. Then secondly, 30.82% for the community pool. That is massive. And that's why voting is so important, and we'll get to that in a moment. So there's a lot of power in this voting system. More money for core development, more money for hacks and improvements, paying people to make smart contracts, paying people to develop smart contracts putting great contracts on the platform and some money left over for the team that's vested over 12 years to keep them interested in the game. And look at this, no seed sale, no private sale, no public sale. There's a cap, so people that had 50K Atom would not get more than 50K, but some whales might have got around that by having multiple Atom addresses. Naughty, naughty. So it went to 46,000 early Atom stakers. Pretty impressive, if I'm honest, to have no private or public sale to avoid any legal ramifications later down the line. These boys have got their heads screwed on. So to conclude on this point, the airdrop was for the whole community and the whole community are involved in the voting process. On a final note, there are five people with multi-signature wallets and they must be in agreement to release the funds for the Juno hacks. Juno is built on the Cosmos, a completely interoperable network that we'll get into in a moment. The power of being sovereign lies in the fact that each entity is able to govern themselves. So the Cosmos, the internet of blockchains, allows for this to occur. Now you may be asking, how do they govern themselves? And the answer is via voting. So basically the more Juno you own, own, the more voting power you have. It's kind of like owning shares in an organization. And these votes, they're put online. If we go to mintscan.io, we can see the proposals for Juno. We can see what votes have occurred, what has passed and what has not passed. So for example, in the last few days, a vote has been passed by the owners of Juno to accept Kepler wallet native integration. And 85% of people agreed with this. There was a $360,000 fee for doing so, and now that has been enacted. So when I click on my Kepler wallet now, I can see Juno is now native, which is great. Um, it appears in the top part. I can see how much the staking rewards are. We'll get to that later, and I can see how much Juno I've received from my staking. Furthermore, for community, there is also a GitHub where we can monitor a lot of things that are going on with Juno. Juno also have a very active Twitter with 26,000 followers, and their Discord also has around 10,000 followers. The dev team appear to be very active on both platforms. However, their Reddit is lacking somewhat with only 1,000 followers. They also have quite an active Telegram, so if you want to get involved, stick to Discord, Twitter, or Telegram. Now, point three, interoperability. Under the IBC protocol on the Cosmos, they're going to be able to transfer data and tokens to each other at fast speeds for a super cheap price. It's absolutely incredible technology. If you want to read more about this, you can go to v1.cosmos.network slash intro. Now, this means as smart contracts get more complex, you can take out a loan on one platform and provide liquidity to another platform at the same time. All these sovereign platforms need to do is embed Cosmosm which is essentially the engine for Juno. And all these entities are gonna be able to communicate with each other via smart contracts. This is a bloody game changer. They're not limited to one entity. You can spam them across the whole cosmos. Mark my words when I say this is truly exceptional technology. This leads me to point four, a dedicated sister hub. Juno genuinely has utility. Firstly, as a sister hub to the cosmos hub, 
they're gonna offload smart contract traffic to themselves, releasing the pressure on the initial hub. I think that's an exceptional fundamental design within itself. A place where you can concentrate on the creation of smart contracts and process all the smart contracts at the same time using IBC. It is truly an exceptional addition to the Cosmos. It's good to take some pressure off the main hub, making sure transactions are super fast, super cheap, and everything scalable. The next great thing about Juno is the staking rewards. They are bloody high, and now they have native integration with the Kepler wallet, we can see very clearly at the bottom what the staking rewards are. 123%, that is no joke. Over the years, these returns will reduce, but let me just quickly show you how they're calculated. So basically here, we can see the current rate of inflation is 40%. Only 32% are staking are adding to liquidity pools, right? So this 40% inflation is only allocated to people that are bonding their tokens. Therefore, running the math, this would equate to the 123.73% we see here. This inflation is expected to reduce year on year. So it's good to be early, especially when it's a good project. If you want to buy Juno, all you need to do is get an Osmosis. If your platform where you buy coins has Atom or DVPN or Crypto.com Crow currency, UST, Secret, Comdex, any of these coins, if you can access any of these on your current provider, you can send them over to your Kepler wallet, put them on Osmosis, and then you can buy Juno very easily. And as you can see, the swap fee is very, very low. Now, once you have those, you can go to juno.omniflix.co and you can delegate your tokens here. And when you delegate your tokens, you will receive rewards. You can claim those rewards and then delegate them again. As we said, these rewards come at the rate of 123% a year currently, and they are given daily. So that's lovely. Moving forward. Now, this is what excites me. Current and future projects. This is a new one that's just been added to Juno and it's amazing. JunoMint.EasyStaking.io You can literally create your own token. Look, there's no code needed to do it. Create the name, create the symbol, create the supply and the features. Confirm. Bang. That's all embedded in a smart contract. How brilliant is that? Let's move forward and see what else they have. Juno Swap. This is a new DEX. Very, very new. So Juno Swap allows you to swap and trade coins as well as provide liquidity on the market. With Juno being the central bonded token, which gives it another use case. Currently, the APRs are not listed, but that will be changing in the future. As you can see, people have already started bonding in these pools. Juno Atom, Juno UST. I'm a big fan of Juno UST because I like UST for stability. But if Juno moons, I don't want to deal with the impermanent loss. So I prefer to stay. As we can see, it's very, very early days for this. I'm waiting to see the APR values before I start banging in some of my hard-earned pennies. Next, we have a new one coming out soon. Very naughty, very, very naughty. So decentralized for private transactions, built with our beautiful Cosm Wasm engine. So this is gonna break the link between the sender and the recipient address. So you can hide those pennies. It's inspired by Tornado Cash. As you know, that's the naughty platform that a lot of people use when they steal from wallets. They whip it into Tornado Cash and it comes out in different wallets. So these are some wonderful current projects we can see, but what about future projects? Under Hack Juno, what we discussed before, there are funds that are available for people willing to design new smart contracts. Basically, you write the smart contract, you fill out the nomination form, and the Juno Development Committee will determine how much you get in the form of rewards. And these are the kind of things they are looking for, and this is why I'm so excited. Voting polls, airdrop blasters. A lot of the time, we have to go through quite a grueling process to collect airdrops. What if it's just given straight into your wallet like Bitsong was? That was wonderful, wasn't it? Convenient, you didn't need to do anything, it was already there. Nice one. A lockbox, how cool would that be? So you don't need to touch your funds. You said to yourself, I am gonna stake this for three years, I'm not gonna touch it. Prove it, put it in a lockbox. That shows your belief in a system, doesn't it? Auctions, marketplaces, stable coins, the list goes on. These are just some ideas for what can happen in the future. These are the first few years of smart contracts. Companies are gonna be able to measure how much you exercise and initiate a smart contract for that, and that will change your premiums. It's buying houses, reducing the need for lawyers so you don't have to pay $5,000 to buy a bloody house. Cutting out the middlemen, making everything automated yet safe. We are in a world where smart contracts are going to dominate and there's a lot of competition involved with this. Now for the long run, like I said, Juno have a huge fund to encourage people to develop on their platform. As we can see, there are 42 apps and contracts built on the Juno network. Unfortunately, at the moment, you can't click on the fill out nomination form, but according to the project roadmap, this is about to go live. There is a lot of things happening in this space very quickly and I'm very excited to be part of it. So ultimately, I'm excited for a few reasons. It's on the Cosmos, so it's dedicated, it's super fast, cheap to transfer, and interoperable. Brilliant. There's a huge amount of money for developers. The team is active with their roadmap. There's no legal problems from the distribution of tokens. 
The return on investment is super high and I expect smart contracts to absolutely blow up in the future. So for me, this is a win, 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 win situation. I just love technology. I do have some concerns though. Even with all these great technological advancements, finding this information and putting this information together was very difficult. Often there is a trade-off between developers that are developing on something so brilliant and able to communicate that to the masses. And I still see a huge gap there, a gap that I'm trying to fix. Secondly, there is undoubtedly going to be a lot of competition for smart contracts from multiple firms on multiple chains, but that doesn't mean that they can't coexist. Also at the moment, the system is, hey guys, for Juno hacks, you develop this and we'll give you a random allocated amount of Juno. But what I would like to see is something like this, like we see on Monero, where the reward is clear for a task and there are milestones set out where if your goals have been achieved, the tokens will be released on a certain date and it's all public and everybody can see it. For me, that's just another layer of professionalism that I like. Juno fortunately have a great team from the early days of development of the Atom Network. What I hope is they can bring more experienced developers on board to help with this development process. But that's not just always about having the right amount of funding. It's about providing a good work environment, having a strong roadmap, creating projects that people really want to see, making the people feel that they are giving back something to society or doing something productive for society. Money isn't always the biggest driver in the programming world. So ultimately, I love it. I'm a long-term staker. I believe in smart contracts. This is not financial advice. It's your money. You do all the hell you want with it. I'm just showing you my research, what I like about it and what I'm doing. I hope you got something out of today. Hope it made sense. It's James with Crypto Conscious and I hope you all have a good day. Bye bye.